this was built in 1935 during the depression but it's it's seen um, by many even economists particularly those with more left leanings as being the way out of an economy just to uh, do public works well, of course though this had a great deal of um, appli uh, application for private industry many people with um, on the left just see the creation of uh, useless jobs in the civil servant civil service as being the way out of course it isn't Well, in Nevada, the time is quarter to one, yeah, and in, it's, it, and it's the same time in Los Angeles and in um, Las Vegas. No, oh, no, here will change. Uh, no, that's Nevada. Oh no, Nev sorry, Nevada time. So we're going. That's Pacific time. Yeah. Are we coming? No, no one's coming. Good. So we're now going across the dam, which was the biggest concrete structure in the world for 10 years but in 1945 something else was built somewhere which was bigger but it's still in the top 150 I think the idea to build this dam though it's called the Hoover Dam because Hoover, Hoover was the president uh, in the 1920s and uh, so it was named after him but I think I think it was called the Boulder Dam or something but, um, before the, the Hoover, it was called the Hoover Dam. But the idea goes be, back before the Depression. The fact it was built in the Depression is uh, um, it was only it was one of the things that was carried ca carried on from the, the wealthier times beforehand. Oh yes, that is nice. Yeah, Arizona time, ten to two. Ten to two Arizona time, right? So look, we just got older. Got an hour. We've got an hour older. So if you want to get younger. What you have to do is you just got to keep coming across this way. here is the when the, the over the overflow comes this way which at the moment uh, is dry so from here I've got a better view of the uh, overflow and we can see how how high it would have to actually get before the overflow came in use got the, uh, the dam there, the water there, and it's really very well below the level. I'd say looking at it from here maybe well, maybe 10 meters. I think I was, I was out by the 10 meters. I think the, I think it's even higher coming around the corner. again when one thinks when this was built. Uh, utterly amazing. It was the largest concrete structure in the world. 
it was surpassed about 10 years later by, I think, some other dam. Huge risk of explosion. Uh, obviously, manufacturing concrete is a is a chemical process, and above a certain temperature, it can can blow up. Particularly, the amount of concrete that was being mixed here. That's why I think they worked at night as well, rather than uh, having to get the job done quickly, as they told me when I was at school. So here we see it on the other side. This is the famous view of the dam. That's really amazing. It was also, I think, the largest hydroelectric project in the world when it was built, I think. There's the generating plant below. Maybe. Don't see any wires coming out of it. Now we see the Colorado River. There's on three million cubic meters concrete in this magnificent structure.